And that breaking news is from Roseville at this hour. Macomb Mall shut down early after shots are fired outside of the mall. And we begin there tonight at 6. Police say no one was hurt, but the alleged shooter remains on the run. It happened outside the mall around 2 this afternoon, right near the Dick's Sporting Goods store. Victor Williams joins us live with an update and a search for that shooter, Victor. Police are still looking for the shooter as well as all the suspects involved. We're told that this was an altercation that started inside the mall but then spilled out into the parking lot. Some shoppers are just happy they're still here. I just prayed quite a bit. I thought maybe today was going to be that day. Lisa Richards thought she was going to die after a shooting took place in front of the Macomb Mall around 2.15 Sunday afternoon. It's a Sunday afternoon. People were in there trying to relax, and then something like this happens. And I thought to myself, we just can't go anywhere now without feeling safe. Roseville Police Chief Ryan Monroe says the gunfire erupted when two groups of people got into it and took their problems out into the parking lot. A one male fired a couple rounds into the air, possibly towards one of the cars. We're still investigating. Uh, no one's in custody. No one's been injured. Lisa remembers exactly where she was when that happened. I was in the Good Health massage place getting a massage laying on the table when all of a sudden I heard all kind of commotion, police cars police dogs barking. From there, the mall went into lockdown mode, turning into an intense situation for shoppers. The officers were running through the mall. It was very, very scary. Shoppers had to wait in the back of stores before being taken through an emergency exit. We went down a hallway and ended up outside by some dumpsters. As police investigated, several people nearby were stopped for questioning. We get a description of who's involved. We detained a few people just to investigate to put their story together, but we have we don't have anybody in custody at this time. We're told it's just a matter of time before cops have the actual suspects in handcuffs. There's cameras all over the parking lot, so I'm sure it just takes time to get all the footage downloaded that we can we can look at. And with today being Sunday, one of the busiest days for the mall, it's a miracle that no one was hurt. In Roseville tonight, Victor Williams, Local 4.